channel if you're new here then don't forget to subscribe down below and without much further ado let's get on with the video that was the most excited I think I've ever been while doing an intro but let's go with it I thought today's video I would talk about Moana because I've seen this film by the time you've seen this I'm hoping to have seen it for a second time but I saw it a week before it came out in the UK because Cineworld Unlimited they had a private screening and let me tell you, okay, this film is so good. So firstly, if you haven't seen it, this video will probably contain spoilers. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want spoilers, click off this video right now because because I don't I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I don't. There you go. Cool. First off, Ali, I think that's how you say her name, and The Rock. They were just perfect. Ali was the most perfect person you could have ever got to play Moana because she is a 16 year old, she is from the Pacific Islands, she is Moana. Like literally, they just animated Ali. They just, they just did, okay? In terms of Disney princessness, this film did so much for me in a sense of portraying someone that I can look up to. So I relate to her as a young independent woman who doesn't have a love interest. Thank you Disney for finally giving us a film that doesn't have a love interest, okay? Because me, I am very much about work and getting to places and doing things. Meanwhile, loads of the Disney princesses that I've been told to look up to and kind of given as my role models, all have love interests and all surround that idea. But not only is Moana someone I can look up to in a sense of getting to somewhere and not giving up and being who you are and not letting anyone tell you otherwise, she also is a huge thing to look at in terms of body shapes because I am not the shape of the stereotypical princess. I'm not. And like for years, I personally have been like, why can't I look like that? That is the image of perfection, because that's what we're given. But now we have Moana who doesn't have an over-the-top accentuated waistline. I think that's the right word. She has legs that aren't this thin. She has muscle and width to her arms. So now this character is more like someone that I can look up to. Like Nani was from Lilo and Stitch, she is just, yes. Yes. It just makes me really happy that finally Disney are giving us, okay they're not giving us the truth, but they're giving us closer to the truth and that means that these children of today can look at these films and find identity with these characters and I just, it's just, I love it, I love it so much. We all know who Lin Manuel Miranda is for his God-given gift of creating songs. Hamilton I've been obsessed with for the past few months. Someone mentioned it on an Instagram post, someone also told me to listen to it in my friend group. I listened to it, fell in love, and now I can do a lot of the raps. Usually at lunchtime, me, Rowan, and Izzy are all rapping to Hamilton. And now Lin-Manuel Miranda has blessed us with these songs from Moana, which literally are a disney version of Hamilton. That's literally what they are. So yes, I've been listening to the soundtrack non-stop. And I'm going to be listening to the soundtrack non-stop. Look where I've been, I make everything happen. Look at that me For a very, very long time. My mum is getting sick of it now, and once you've listened to your welcome once, you're gonna get it stuck in your head for the rest of your life, I promise you. It is so catchy, and the rock sings it so well, and Yes, I just dabbed. Very, very sorry for that. And finally, I just want to talk about the animation because while it did have the same style that Frozen and Tangled had, it also took on this new means of editing. I mean, they had loads of montages for a lot of the scenes and I usually don't really like montages because, I don't know, I just feel like they're overdone. But the way they're done in Moana, so good. Also, in Your Welcome, there is a piece where Maui, because he is a trickster, is able to trick Moana into seeing this really fancy world and the only way I can describe it is it was like an animation within an animation. It's like animeception. Animeception. That... Let's ignore that I said that. But it's just so good and... I love it so much. Also, Tamator, his song 
The first time I listened to Shiny, I was like, okay, I like this because it's the bad guy saying that all you need to be is pretty on the outside. You don't actually need anything good going on on the inside, which is what the media presents to us. It presents to us that it doesn't matter who you are on the inside as long as you're attractive. And now we have this crab who is the bad guy and he is said to be the bad guy saying, all I want to be is pretty, but who are you because you've got stuff inside you? Like, I don't know if I'm making any sense right now. I'm just so over the top excited about this gosh darn film. But then once I'd actually watched Shiny and that part of the film, I loved the song even more because that animated section was just so well done. Overall, I loved the film. I am very excited to see it again. I've been waiting so long for this film and it's broke so many Disney stereotypes while also making fun of said Disney stereotypes. If you enjoyed today's video, then do not forget to subscribe down below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you like what I do here and comment down below your opinions on Moana. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Either way, put your thoughts below. I would love to have a conversation, but yes. Until next time, bye.